He said, I met my angel spirit and I turned my ministers to fire. Amen. God will turn you to fire. Amen. God will turn you to fire. Amen. God will turn you to fire. Amen. Power will turn you to fire. Amen. God will turn your children to fire. Amen. It will make you too hard for the enemies to handle. Amen. It will make your marriage too hard for the enemies to handle. Amen. Right now, open your mouth and talk to God. Right now, say, Lord, as your word is about to be sent forth, Lord, let your word touch me today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth now and talk to God. Talk to God, talk to God. Say, Holy Ghost, touch me. Touch me, touch me, touch me. Let the word of God build me up today. Let the word of God give me inheritance. Open your mouth and talk to God right now. Any seed that will stand as an obstacle to your miracle, Pray that God will take it away by fire. Eh, kapa ka, she kapa ka, eh, kapa ka haya. Mes kawa ka kapa, zope te 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 te. Eh, chala pashka ha, eh, bata le pe le pe te ya. She pe le zope ka ta, eh, le pe ka ta 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 ka ta. She pe le te 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 te. Eh, kapa ka, mes eh pe le ta haya, she ya ta ta ya ha. In Jesus' fireful name, we have prayed. Can I have a louder amen and thunder? Amen. Father Lord, I thank you, Lord, I worship you. Amen. Lord, I give you praise. I bless your holy name for there is none like you. Amen. Be thou exalted, be thou glorified. Amen. Be thou magnified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I empty myself of every self right now. Amen. Holy Ghost, take over. Amen. Lord, make me a vessel unto honor. Amen. Lord, as I speak the word today, I will speak with clarity. Amen. I will speak with power. Amen. I will speak with authority. Amen. Do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Amen. And let all the glory be returned to you. Amen. In Jesus' fireful name, I have prayed. Amen. Sit on top of the head of your enemies. Amen. Amen. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> The power of God is here. The anointing of God is here already. Amen. I feel the fire everywhere. Amen. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, and by the mandate of fire, I'll be talking about a topic which I titled, Your Root Determines Your Fruit. Look at your neighbor. See, your root determines your fruit. Say it again. See, your root determines your fruit. If you're all by yourself, talk to yourself by yourself. See, my root determines my fruit. My root determines my fruit. Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin by submitting to you that in life, if you must go far, you must trace your roots. Amen. No matter how packaged you are, no matter how influential you are, no matter your influence, no matter your affluence, no matter your connection, you can't go far in life if you don't trace your roots. If you don't tackle your roots, when I'm talking about roots, I am talking about your foundation. I am talking about foundational powers. Foundational powers will try by all means to stop you. Foundational power will try by all means to prevent you. Foundational power will try by all means to hinder you. Foundational power will try by all means to stand as an obstacle to your miracle. But I have come by the mandate of fire that I've come to speak to five persons here. Hear the sound of my voice. Every foundational power troubling your life, troubling your children, troubling your business, troubling your marriage, troubling your career. Today they expire by fire. 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 If you believe it, let me hear louder. Amen and thunder. 
If you must eat your fruit, you must trace your roots. Your root determines your fruit in life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is why the Bible says in Psalm 11, verse 3, if the foundation be broken there, what can the righteous do? If the foundation be broken, what can the righteous do? Ladies and gentlemen, I came to submit to you that the righteous can change their foundation. Amen. Yes, Amen. you can rectify what is point or what has gone wrong in your foundation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you rectify it? through warfare prayers? And that is why we have come to pray. Amen. A man and a woman that don't pray, they will end up being a prey. And that is why I keep saying a close man is a close destiny. The Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. When the Bible talks about men, it's not talking about your gender. God does not move by gender. Your, your gender. He moves by his own agenda. He moves by his own plan. He moves by his own purpose. He moves by his own strategy. So it does not matter whether you are a male or a female. When God wants to move, it will move. Amen. And God will never move until you pray. Amen. If you don't pray, God will not move. And when it does not move in your life, you will be removed from your place of destiny. But I've come by the mandate of fire. In the name of Jesus, any power that wants to remove you, I remove them by fire. I remove them by fire. I remove them by fire. The Bible says, have you seen such a thing before? Have you seen such a thing before? That can a nation be born in a day? Is it possible? Can a nation be better in a day? Is it better? Travail in prayer. He said they prevail. Until you travail in prayer, you cannot prevail. If you see any product, any product that is produced and that is showcased in the showroom, it has passed through labor room. Yes. Amen. It was passed through labor room before you now put it in showroom. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. See, have you seen such a thing? If God created the heaven and earth, how many days? Seven. Bible students. On the, I mean, since the, on the seventh day, he rested. He rested on the seventh day. So it's not easy to now make a nation in one day. It's impossible. But as Zion traveled in prayers, in Matthew in 19, verse 26, Matthew 19, 26, he said, with man, it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Every impossibility in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall turn to possibility. 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 Lift up your hands and say fire. Hallelujah. No matter how packaged you are, until you trace your root and you uproot every evil seed, Every evil plans, every evil strategy, you will still be going around a circle. Hello? Uh, Hello? Uh, you will still be going around a circle. One step forward, <laughs> two step backward. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Any foundational power that says where your parents stop, you are going to stop them. In the name of Jesus, I stop them at fire. What kid your parents will not kill you? Amen. What kid your lovers will not kill you? Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. that is above every other name. I say, where your parents stop, you will not stop here. Where your parents stop, you will not stop here. Where your parents stop, you will not stop here. Where your parents stop, you will not stop here. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. It's the same yesterday. Is the same today, is the same forever. When God says yes, no demon can say no. When God lifts you up, no power can bring you down. God is on your side, power is on your side, glory is on your side, fire is on your side, testimony is on your side. 
Breakthrough is on your side. Healing is on your side. Lift your legs up and shut fire. 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 Well, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going to put in the book of Luke. I just want to prepare your mind. Amen. Because today we are going to pray warfare prayers. Amen. Pray, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Stop all those confessions that I know I am. When you don't trace foundational powers. Second Corinthians 5 verse 17. Uh, if any man be in Christ, uh, it's a new creation. All things have passed away. Beyond everything has become new. When you don't trace foundational powers, <laughs> are you listening to me? Yes. You must trace foundational power yes. and fight against foundational powers and overcome them by the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's quickly put to the Bible. To the book of Luke. Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 16. As you open to the book of Luke, your enemy will look at you prospering. Amen. I say your enemy will look at you prospering. If you believe in let me hear louder. Amen and thunder. Amen. Let me hear louder. Amen and thunder. Amen. Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 16. And it came to pass uh -huh. the day after mm -hmm. that he went into a city called Nine. Okay. And many of his disciples went with him. And much people. Mm -hmm. Now, when he came near to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man crying out, the only son of his mother, mm -hmm. and she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not, and be not. And and he came and touched the bier. And they that bear him stood still. And he said, Young man, I said unto thee, Arise. And he that was there sat up and became to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. 16, yes, 16. And they came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying that a great prophet is risen up among us. And that God has visited his people. Sit on your enemies and God will visit you by fire. Amen. Power will visit you by fire. Amen. The Bible says in Jeremiah 15, verse 15. It says, Oh Lord God, thou knowest, remember me and visit me. Somebody in the sound of my voice have been praying that God will remember you today. God will remember you by fire. Amen. The place that my sister just read just now. Hallelujah. Amen. A sharp at her iron. Now it talked about a widow. Now, this widow was crying. This widow, they said that she, she was in the city of what? Nine. Do you know what nine means? It means something that is pleasant. It means great pastures. So now it was supposed to be pleasant, it was supposed to be great pastures. Listen to me. But things were not going well. Because of foundational powers. Because of foundational power. A, a place that would have been pleasant, a woman's life that would have been pleasant, it was unpleasant because she did not tackle foundational powers. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. Many of you looking at me, I go to I go, you dress well, you look nice, nice cologne and everything. But you are passing through pains inside. You are passing through a lot of challenges. You are passing through a lot of confrontation. Today, we will confront every foundational power. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now, the Bible says that this widow lost her only child that was dear to her. I have come by the mandate of fire. Whatsoever that is dear to you in your life, you will not lose it. Amen. That amen is standing with one leg. Amen. Whatsoever that is dear to your family, they will not lose it. Amen. You will not lose your salvation. You will not lose your work with God. You will not lose your child. You will not lose your husband. You will not lose your business. You will not lose your place in destiny. You will not lose your career. In the name of Jesus. And the Bible says that all of them, they were crying. 
They have already eaten burial food, jollof rice. But they have, they have eaten everything. They have concluded the case already. I don't know who have concluded your life. I don't know who have concluded your children's life. I don't know who have concluded your business. I don't know who have concluded your career. I don't know who have concluded in your marriage that things are not going to work out. But today, Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! They have concluded the matter. Who is it that speaking and it come to pass? Lamentation TV 37. When the Lord God has not spoken. Amen. I came by the mandate of fire to announce to you that only God's spoken word will be made manifest in your life. Amen. Only God's spoken word will be made manifest in your life. Only God's spoken word will be made manifest in your life. Only God's spoken word will be made manifest in your life. How do I know in Jeremiah 29 level? You see, I know the thoughts I take towards you. They are thoughts of good, not of evil. Talk to give you an expected end. Talk to give your marriage an expected end. Talk to give your children an expected end. Talk to give your everything an expected end. In Proverbs 23, verse 18, it says, Surely there is an end, and the expectation of the righteous it shall never be cut off. The Bible said it. In Psalm 7 verse 9, let the wickedness of the wicked, let it come to an end. Every wickedness of the wicked, fire against your life, fire against your business, fire against your children, fire against your husband, fire against your wife, fire against your finances. It comes to an end by fire. 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 Lift up your hands and see how we see. Your breakthrough. Amen. See, I will see my breakthrough. I will see my testimony. The Bible says in Psalm 7, verse 11, it says, God is angry with the wicked every day. In Psalm 55, verse 15, I don't shut up. It says, Let them seize them and let them go quick to hell. Any power that wants you to die. Any power that wants you to cry over your loved ones, eh? in the name of Jesus, eh? I decree, I declare, every pit that they have done for you, eh? I push them inside, 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 eh? You will not die but live, eh? I say you will not die. I best live it. The Bible said in John chapter 5 verse 24 If you believe in him that sent me You will not go into condemnation But you have been passed from death to life Your business has been passed from death to life Your children have been passed from death to life Your finances have been passed from death to life Your marriage have been passed from death to life Lift up your hands and shut fire Fire Hallelujah Amen. Now they have eaten the burial food they have concluded the case already. Shall I get to fear? And now, look at what Jesus Christ did. The Bible says, when Jesus came in. Hallelujah. Now, listen, though. That woman, don't forget she was a widow. That means she has lost her husband. Amen. Mm, yes. And now she has lost her only child. In the day of your children's celebration, another person will not represent you. Amen. In the day of your glory, no powers will kill you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says, when Jesus stepped in, hear me, when Jesus stepped into to your life, every problem will step out. Yes, amen. When Jesus stepped in, problem will step out. Amen. When Jesus stepped in, frustration will step out. Amen. When Jesus stepped in, barrenness will step out. Amen. The Bible says, when Jesus stepped in, it didn't shock me. Look what Jesus Christ did. I was expecting Jesus to just say, yes, you demon, out. I speak life. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come, 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 come. Let him and let him go, like the way he said in the case of Zachary. Did it shock me? Jesus Christ, when he went there, he went to touch the coffin. Hello? Amen. He went to touch the coffin when Jesus went there. Now, do you know why he touched the coffin? Bible stood in the house. Hello? I just said, you dead, get up, all the dead we are gotten up. 
All the devil that want. Yeah, that's a good observation too. And you know, the thing kept me wondering why Jesus touched the coffin. Why he touched the coffin? It was going to the foundation powers. Because it was that coffin that killed the woman's husband. That is why it went straight to the foundation. It went straight to the root to uproot every evil plans, every plans of death. Because if he has hit that boy, he will strike again. And that is why God sent me to you to announce to you that affliction will not rise up the second time. 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 Lift up your eyes and shout, I receive. It will never rise up the second time. Amen. It went there and uprooted the foundational powers. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Because they were after that woman. Oh. You don't know this wicked people. Now they killed the woman's husband. Now they killed the child, the only child. Now if Jesus did not go and touch the uh, coffee, if it did not go from the roots, after everything do that still kill that woman. And that is why you see a lot of people have this negative pattern. It keeps coming, it keeps coming, it keeps coming. That many of you hear the sound of my voice. You have a seasonal problem that comes to your life at a particular time. There's a, you know, there's that sometimes you feel you feel sick, you feel depressed. It comes yeah. after some time it will leave. It comes after some time it leave. Every depression in your life in the name of Jesus. I stand under the word of God. I stand by the word of God. I stand by the mandate of fire. Every seasonal problem, every seasonal sickness, every seasonal affliction, every seasonal oppression, every seasonal depression that comes to your life, I've come to put a complete stop. By the mandate of power, I have come to put a complete stop. I have come to put a complete stop. Will steal your joy. Amen. No power will steal your glory. Amen. No power will steal your honor. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Powers that want you to cry will cry your cry. Amen. Powers that want you to cry will cry in replacement of you. Amen. The Bible said in John 15, verse 11, it said that my joy is talking about God now. It said that his joy will remain in you Amen. and that your joy will be full. I think your joy will be full. Amen. In your business, your joy will be full. Amen. Your children's joy will be full. Amen. Your marriage joy will be full. Amen. Your business joy will be full. Amen. Your destiny joy will be full. Amen. Your glory will be full. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me. There was one man of God. Now, if you in, in Nigeria, if you call one or two men of God, you will damage is one of them. Now, what happened? Foundational powers stopped his father. His father was still a man of God from lifting up his head above shame. Are you listening to me? That is why you must get angry and fight foundational powers. Foundational power don't look at it that you are speaking in tongues. Of. You must address the issue. You must address it right from the root. Now, this man of God, another man of God, he will pray for people. Take it. Take it. You see this? But he, he did not have members. Nothing was going on in the ministry. And that is how those powers stopped his, uh, his father too. And that power was after him. Hallelujah. Amen. If you feel like sleeping, see every spirit of sleep. See, see put, a, put your hand in your eye. Every witchcraft spirit of sleep. Lose your hold in my life. In this kind of fireful service, if you are sleeping, you are a suspect. Hallelujah. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is here. Anything can happen. Now, this man went on a long fasting. He was fasting and praying, seeking the face of God. Father, I will not stop where my parents stop. Every power, Father, the Father, reveal it to me. And one day, as this man of God was praying, 
is someone demon. It's not dream mode. Life. Just like what you said just now in the kind of revelation. Life. It's someone demon like this short demon. He just came out from the ground. I said, you, you, I will kill you. I will kill you. Okay, see this small boy. Look at this small boy. What your forefathers could not do, what your father could not do, your father, your grandfather, is that is it? I want to now cast out the demon. You I will finish you. And boldness came. And this young man said, I might look small, but my father is the ancient of days. Amen. You might be older than me, but my father is older than you. Amen. The problem might be lasting, but my father is everlasting. Amen. You might be mighty, but my father is almighty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He did not know where broom came from, nowhere in his right hand, and he beat this demon to death. Pop, 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 pop. And that is how this man comes straight forth. Amen. That is how this man, if you're anywhere, you see that that man now is a voice to reckon with. Amen. It's a voice to reckon with. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That he has been confessing. His father confessed and died. It's not enough for you to say, I cannot be sick. No, the word was maybe made flesh in your life, in your spirit. You must go with power. The Bible says the letter kill life, but the spirit gives life. Yes. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So you can't say, I'm not a new creation. So no, demon cannot come near me. I know who I am. I am not fighting foundational powers. Powers that stop your parents. You think they're happy. Powers have said you will not go far, and you are looking at the spirit of Pharaoh. Exodus 8 28. He says, Go, go, but don't go far. There are powers that say, Go, go and marry. Let me see how far you go in your marriage. There are powers that say, Don't worry, go to school. Let me see. We will turn your certificate to a tissue paper. There are many people that are supposed to have their business. You are still saying, Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, ma, yes, ma. Why will people tell you, Yes, sir, yes, ma? All the ideas that God has given you, what are you using them for? Are you listening to me? Yes. Foundational powers are trying to stop you today. We will stop them by fire. Yes, I can't be saying I'm a new creation. Now, if a man impregnates a woman before he accepted Jesus into his life, now, after he has given, he has given birth, he now accepts Jesus now. Has that child passed away? No. That child is still his child. Are you listening to me? So don't say everything. I, no, I, then I was still in the world. I was still a sinner. So now I'm not new. I don't have anything to do with my past. No, are you listening to me? Yeah. Your, if you don't address your past, your past will still haunt you. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So a lady, listen to me, a true life story. This lady, when she was still a child, then when she was still very, very young, you know, she had a boyfriend and, you know, they slept with each other. And before you know what happened, she had a, she, she was pregnant. And guess what this lady did? This, this little girl at that time. She now aborted the child. Long time, you know, because then, it's not, now it's not fashionable. For, for, a, for a, 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 maybe a girl or, 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 or whatsoever person or whatever. To have children. It's not a grievance. People want to even take their neighbor's child and put it on Facebook. Are you listening to me? Yeah. But then, if you are not married, you have a child. People will see, people will be laughing at you. I'm talking about those days way back. Because it will stop your, maybe you were in secondary school. It's going to affect you. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Your, your, your education. It's going to stop so many things. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So now, this girl went to abort the child. And not everybody you can, not all children you can abort to. I mean, you, you do understand? Yes. Not all children you can abort to. There's one woman that was doing what they're similar. Like, she, she tried her possible best to flush the baby. Every two to take different things to flush the baby out for a year. In my language, where we, in Nigeria, we call it uh, I just spoke in tongues. Or you call them oh, girl, this, It means you can't kill this kind of child. You can't kill this kind of person. You would, if, if you like, take anything to flush the baby. Never. The baby will say, no, I will come. Are you listening to me? Yeah. So now there are some babies that are stubborn. They want to come to this world by thunder by fire. Yeah. <laughs> you can't stop them. Hello? Yeah. Now this woman has aborted this child. Long time she has forgotten she was still in the world. She now accepted Jesus into her life. 
As she accepted Jesus into her life, she was not living for Jesus, living in holiness and everything, but she did not have children. The people have a child. Now, this woman has prayed, this woman has fasted, this woman has done everything. Until one day, she went to a program just like this kind of program. Holy Ghost service like this, healing service and miracle service. And the man of God called her out by prophecy and said, Is that baby you killed that time? That blood is the one that is still crying now. That is why you don't have, you don't have a child now. Hello? Hi. So imagine what you did in the past. You are a young man now. Now maybe you are old, but when you were young, you saw a, a, a girl that you love. And you say, I, I love you. And the other guy say, I love you back. I love you. Are you sure? Are you sure you love me? Proof that you love me now. And you cut your hand. You take blood covenant. And after some time, even if you don't take blood covenant, you have given her. Your, your word, both of you have come in agreement. What is covenant? An agreement between two or more people. So now you now come in covenant with the girl when you were staying in the world. Or maybe you are a girl, you promise a man after that you are going to marry him. Are you listening to me? After some time, you marry somebody else. And you will make covenant. If you don't break that covenant, it will still be speaking for you. Even when you have accepted Jesus into your life, you need to break every yoke. The Bible says in Isaiah 10, 27, on that day, it's talking about today, the body will be removed from your shoulders, and the yoke shall be removed from your neck, and the yoke shall be totally destroyed because of the raising of the anointing. Every yoke of barrenness, yoke of shame, yoke of disgrace, yoke of disaster, yoke of calamity, yoke of oppression, yoke of depression, Yoke of five brother, yoke of arthritis, yoke of diabetes, yoke of cancer, yoke of pneumonia. I break in the name of Jesus. 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 I break in the mighty name of Jesus. And that is how the man of God prayed for her. And that is how she carried her children, her babies. Amen. She carried her babies. But if you were just confessing without acting by faith, knowledge is power. Hallelujah. Amen. In Hosea chapter 4, verse 6, you see, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Amen. In Daniel 11, 32, it says, They that know their God will be strong and will do exploits. You must know who you are. The consciousness of what you carry is what makes the devil's plan to miscarry. Amen. You know what you carry. You are conscious of what you carry. The power of God in you. In Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15 to 16, it says, What circumspectly as wise, be conscious of who you are. That the devil cannot mess with you. That foundational powers cannot mess with you. Amen. That witchcraft power cannot mess with you. Amen. That marine powers cannot mess with you. Amen. That occultic powers cannot mess with you. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. Consciousness of what you carry is what makes the devil's plan to miscarry. Amen. I just said this woman carried her babies. Any foundational power that made you their candidate. Ah. In the name of Jesus. Today they expire. 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 Lift up your eyes and shine fire. Lift up your eyes and shine fire. Lift up your eyes and shine fire. As Jesus touched the coffee, it went from the root to uproot. Now I have come in the name of Jesus. As a mad piece of God, as a servant of the Most High God, Amen. in Second Chronicles twenty twenty, it says, "Believe in God, and you shall be established. Believe in your pastor, believe in your prophet, and you shall prosper." I come in the name of Jesus Amen. to touch every root in your life, Amen. to uproot every root in your life, Amen. every root that is hindering you from eating your food. I cast that root right now. Amen. I cast that 
sickness from the root. Amen. I cause that pain from the root. Amen. I cause that affliction from the root. Amen. I cause that oppression from the root. Amen. I've come to announce to you in the name of Jesus. Affliction will not rise up the second time. Amen. Shame will not rise up the second time. Amen. This grace will not rise up the second time. Amen. Oppression will not rise up the second time. Amen. Depression will not rise up the second time. Amen. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Fire is on your side. Lift up your hands and shut fire. Stand up and begin to thank God right now for the word of God that you have heard. Stand up and begin to talk to God right now. Say, my father, my father. Lord, I thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. That I have heard this morning. That I have heard this morning. Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus. By the word of God. By the word of God. I uproot. I uproot. Every foundational problem. Every foundational problem. From the root. From the root. Power that don't want me to eat my food. Power that does not want me to eat my food. I uproot my fire. I uproot my fire. Yes. Now you're going to put your two hands in your head. Any sin in my life, sin of the past. Any sin. Any of sin of the past. Every sin of the past. That is hindering good things from coming to my life. Hindering good things from coming to my life. Every offense that I have made. Every offense, oh Lord, that I have made. That is standing as a fence and limitation to my breakthrough. That is standing as a fence and a limitation to Oh Lord, my God. Oh Lord, my God. By the blood of Jesus. Oh, Take it away, 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 take it away
Jesus, by the blood of 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 Jesus, by the blood of
Let the fire of God come down right now. Let it quicken your people. Let it quicken your people. Yes, 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 yes. Let the power, let the power. Let the power, let the power. Open your mouth and pray the Holy Ghost. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Yes, at the count of five. Holy Ghost. Yes, let the fire, let the fire, let the fire. Let the fire, let the fire fall upon us right now. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, yes. In the name of Jesus. Zachariah 4 verse 6 is not by mind. It's not by power and by the spirit of God. Holy Ghost speaking, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. At the count of five, at the count of five, one. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, put it there, put it there, put it there, put it there. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, 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 two. Fire, 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 fire. Fire, fire, everywhere, fire. Everywhere, fire from the left, from the right, from the east, from the south, from the west, from the right, fire the Holy Ghost. Everywhere right now, take it, take it, take it. We need to take it, we need to take it right now, take it now, take it, take it. Fresh fire, fresh fire, two, three. Wow, yes, yes. foundational power. Amen. Every foundational power that can be fighting us, that can be fighting our foot, I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. I uproot it by fire. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From now on, we enjoy our marriages, yes, our businesses, yes, our children, we enjoy yes, our, we enjoy our careers yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every foundational power, they are dead and they are buried. Lord, take all the glory. Amen. Lord, take all the honor. Amen. For you are worthy to be praised. Amen. In Jesus' fireful name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Amen